Hey y'all, in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to modify a 1200 grit power hone wheel so that it will both cut and polish. Stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Hey y'all, welcome back to the studio. I'm Lane Zolke and this is Master Engraver TV. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to modify a 1200 grit wheel on your power hone so that it will both polish and cut your gravers. Now to do this, you're going to need a few tools. You'll need, of course, your 1200 grit wheel. You'll also want a diamond plate, diamond sharpening stone of some sort. Uh, around 800 grit, somewhere in there is fine. You might want a ruby stone to do the final dressing and some water and a sponge for lubrication. Basically what we're going to do is with the diamond plate we're going to prematurely wear down the last three-eighths of an inch of that power hone wheel. And by doing so I can now sharpen the faces of my gravers and I can also touch up the heels on that outside edge here it, without over polishing them. So let's take a look at how I do this. You can see here I offer up the diamond plate to the last quarter inch of the spinning wheel. Make sure you use enough water to keep things from binding up. After a couple of minutes the diamond particles will start to break down and the edge will begin to polish. After a minute or two with the diamond plate, I'll switch over to the ruby wheel and polish out any last little burrs or imperfections. Now I'll throw a 105 degree graver in the apex sharpener and see how things turned out. I also use Lindsay templates for sharpening my square stock, but for the most part I like using CMAX round graver blanks and the apex system is perfect for shaping those tools. They fit in the GRS collets, which in turn snap right into the apex. You can see here it only takes a quick swipe to get a perfectly polished heel. You do need to remember though that if you're inking your engraving, you really don't need a polished heel. I only use this where I want a really bright cut. And just like that, we can cut our face and polish our heels, all on the same wheel now. Well, I hope this is a tip you can take back and use in your own studio. I know I like using the 1200 grit wheel for everyday sharpening, but its one flaw is that it's just a little bit too rough for touching up heels. This solves that problem, and now you can polish a heel with just a quick swipe and not cut away too much material. If you're interested in the Apex sharpening system or the power hone or any of the other GRS tools that I use, you can find links to them in my description. If you order through those links, you'll get free shipping and I'll get a small commission which helps keep the channel running, so I do appreciate it. Till next time, keep your pencils and your gravers sharp and most of all have fun at the bench. Thanks for watching.